you get someone like Leonard Cohen, who's an amazing songwriter, and yeah. you know, you know, I don't know if he's sold as many units as Leonard, Leonard and McCartney. You know? So it's all very, uh, but he, yet he's regarded as one of the most amazing songwriters in yeah. the world, if not, you know, the most amazing. So if you drift back to something, say like K Sand, that's just lasted the test of time. Uh, Don Walker wrote it. It just, it just seems to be in everyone's zone. You know, when you're going, what song? Okay, in a pub anyway. It's always K Sand. What do you think it is about those songs that people go, okay, that is amazing? If we knew, we, we'd, uh, you know, we'd be doing more of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Paul Kelly answer. I, I remember yeah. him saying something very similar I once. I mean, really, it's just one of those things. It's like, you know, I think a lot of it is it's probably this much automatic, being dogmatic. People are, by nature. They just sort of go, oh, they don't want to think too hard. They, or they don't want to play anything that, you know, they might be ridiculed for. So they just go, oh, put that on, it's safe. Yep. Um, a lot of it is, you know, um, just attachment, um, sent sentimentality. Yeah. Um, you know, put all that together and it fills up the percentage, I guess. But it's not all just one thing. Obviously, it's it's a lot of factors. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of it is just the what's available in the jukebox too. And we, you you know as well <laughs> as I do that they're not the most diverse things, pub jukeboxes, <laughs> yeah, are they? That's right. But I've got a theory, okay. And I think there's a, there's a winning formula in a few chords, and uh, you know you're a subscriber to these chords E A B. <laughs> you know we're all big fans of E A and B. It's sure. the blues. It's where especially B. I love B. B's I seem to write a lot of songs in B, so yeah, don't right. know why, but yeah. <laughs> With E A and B, like you know, you look at songs such as uh, like the Romantics. That's what I like about you. So that was a hit in 1980. Then you go to today. Uh, that's mm. what makes you beautiful. Oh look, it's you know. You know what I mean? Like it's same chord. Well, it's, yeah, it's a, that progression is kind of it is a twelve bar, I guess, in a, in a sense. Um, a lot of people don't even realise when they're listening to it. Um, yeah. But you know, even a song like Michael Jackson's um, um, "Black or White." Yep. Same chords. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. It's a twelve bar. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it goes from E to A to E, then to B, and then back down, and then back to E again, back to the root. That's the whole song. It's a blue. It's a blue song. There you go, kids. Learning, learning.